All right, we got the Battle of the 22s heads up. This is the new Gamo Air Rifle. I borrowed this from a friend of mine. I want to find out how it is compared heads up against a classic old 22. This thing is not cheap. This ain't no pump action daisy. This thing is a freaking machine. <laughs> caliber 1300 feet per second the jungle magnum all right against these classic gold 22s these are rated at 1250 feet per second we'll be shooting these out of a out of this classic cooey everyone and their dog has one of these Model 75. So we're going to be shooting from 25 yards. So the first thing you notice, I noticed anyway, when I picked this up, it's huge. It's four feet long. It's literally the same size as a Lee Enfield. And it weighs almost the same. Nice clean rifled barrel. Pellet fits in there nice and tight. Not quite used to that. It's got like a forward and back. That's new to me. Also, I'd like to mention plastic trigger. Not a huge fan. But it really doesn't feel that bad. And if that doesn't bother you, that's great. I'm shooting at the bottom left target here with the air rifle. I did spend some time setting up the scope. A little extra curricular activity. Nice and smooth. Trigger. Again, I'm aiming at the bottom left target here. Okay, let's try the 20. This one's a bolt though. Classic Cooey Model 75. It's jammed. I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm doing it wrong. Take two. Gotta get it right in there. And this one I always forget you gotta pull the Put your earplugs in. Pull the hammer back. I will. This one I'm shooting at the bottom right. Really isn't that much. Those ones were on the ground. It's good for it. I always forget to pull the hammer back on the 22. I think the air gun kicks hard. This is why women live longer than men. My finger feels like it's in danger. Okay, now we just need to grow another tree. What about that tree? I remember seeing this piece of rope the last time I was shooting. I didn't lose it, but I'm gonna take it with me. Sort of cleaning up the environment, you know. Gotta look out for those trees.
So that's a half inch chunk of steel we're gonna shoot at. I don't imagine the air gun's gonna go through it. But it whacks it surprisingly hard. I'm I'm pretty impressed. Also, it's way easier to hit stuff with a scoped. Everything with the 22. Oh, I hit one up here. I was aiming down here. And the pellet gun, I got three pretty close to what I was aiming at. I'm not spending a lot of time trying to hit my target. It's more just seeing how it shoots because I'm more concerned with the power. How powerful is it? All right, we're 10 meters away from these 18 gauge pieces of sheet metal stuck into a two by four. So if I miss this, there's something wrong. It takes a ton of force to pump that. There's no way a child could do it. So with the air rifle, we're not going through 18 gauge, but we are going through uh, a slightly thicker gauge aluminum which I think is what a lot of roof is made out of in the like old sheds and stuff <laughs> 22 is going through the first sheet of 18 gauge steel putting a little dent in the next one grown up version What kind of gun is it? It's a Marlin in a 444 caliber. Talking the Wild West here. The old bear stalker. Micro lube barrel. This round has no problem going through, say, five. And it, it expands on its way through. It's getting more dangerous. Don't worry, this half inch piece of steel was not killed in this video. Knocked you right on your butt. <laughs> it was, however, bent a little bit. I'm gonna shoot this with my 30 odd six next in the next video. So if you're thinking about getting a 22 for pest control, Consider one of these high-powered air rifles. I mean, it's almost as powerful as a 22. I found it's more accurate, probably because it has this big old scope on her. Uh, but it does come with a nice set of iron sights if you're not comfortable with a scope. I find it definitely helps. And it's a little bit quieter. And you gotta consider things like if you're shooting inside a building, like uh, say a barn or a Quonset, you don't wanna go through the roof. You're poking holes in the walls and and shit like that. You know, it's something to think about. Also, maybe you don't want a, the noise of a 22 and 
you're shooting in your backyard, maybe you got ducks in your pool, or you got, uh, you know, magpies eating your, eating your garden, or squirrels fucking up your insulation. This is uh, probably a good option for you. And if you really want to fuck shit up, just uh, get a good old-fashioned 44.